Okay, so I'm back. I've got my I got my new filter, 7404 filter, and let me see what else I've got in here. I've got uh, sit down here so I'm on the right level. See, I got Clicky the camera now, and Clicky has an issue with the uh, yeah, not an issue, but an issue. There's those, and this guy right here. All right, so these are Tycos. Um, these are light bulbs for the Mac truck, so I can put these in here. I'm going to replace these relays. There's only I only have four out of six. But, uh, I just have this disgusting feeling that I've been ripped off so royally that I just want to punch somebody in the face, you know? And uh, That's just one of those things. Um, oh, I'm missing something. I am missing something. Yeah. If you can tell, I'm a little disgusted uh, right now with the way I've had to pay over three thousand dollars for this machine to be repaired and they did not repair it you know it's like how is it that you can charge somebody for that kind of work 18 hours worth of time now I've been working I've actually been doing quite a few things right now. I've been to Milford Auto. I've been to Back to Home. I've been to Frenchtown Hardware. I've been to Home Depot and I've been to the UPS store to deliver some orders that I've gotten and uh, to return the camera to Olympus where it can be repaired. Uh, they charged me 18 hours of worth of work to tear this thing apart and put the new piece in and I've had it apart. I've been to all these places. I've purchased new bits and pieces. This thing here has been torn off of here before because this is what it looked like both sides uh, that seal was pulled back so um, I don't know what they did whether they cleaned the eye or the magnetic surface or whatever the hell it is or you know or whatever it is I actually blew a fuse they were going to charge me uh, $15 for this fuse this fuse is that a $15 fuse to you it's an 80 amper I put a 30 in here and you know, it just I put a 30 in and it's not the right one, so I'm just taking it back out. I didn't even bother to try it, but I put a little dielectric grease on here so it makes good. Um, okay, so the next thing to deal with is this handle. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna put the handle back in. It takes three bolts, they go up there. Hopefully I've got everything I need, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to put all three handles on, the handle back on, and then after that, then I will uh, set the thing down. I'll set it down, and then I will uh, climb back in the machine and see if it actually comes on and, and works properly, because I definitely need this thing to work properly. So, I do, and i got to go mow hay, okay? That's another thing that'll get you, is I actually have to go mow hay. And in order to mow hay, I need to get this thing going because uh, Tim and Cody need this machine. We got that broken gale mower, which is a whole other issue. You'll probably see bits and pieces of that being repaired later. But until then... Awesome. So you gotta put this thing back together properly in order to and you definitely you definitely have to do this now.
moment of truth, I guess. problem remains uh, it's still uh, it's still not working so I'm gonna have to buy the right y-axis uh, joystick and put that in uh, it's just I'm gonna buy it from deer country I'm not gonna buy it from say uh, uh, what do you call it uh, yeah the uh, from the industrial side of it because I was told that they're half price if you buy them from the actual ag dealer. So I'm going to get on the phone and call that up and I'm going to keep you posted on this one. It's just a really, uh, it really disgusts me. I, I don't know whether, I don't know what the, the real issue is. If I buy that Y axis joystick and I put it in there and it doesn't work, then I know that I have other issues. But I'm pretty sure that the it's the Y axis uh, and it doesn't look like they've replaced it on the inside. So anyway, I got to go mow.